Hello friends. How's everybody doing today? Hope you're doing well. So I wanted to educate you on something that I kind of did. Because some of you guys I know watch my channel don't do gates and stuff like that and fencing. So this might be something that if you're considering doing it, things that you run into and just... I just want to share my knowledge. Let's just say that. I just want to share my knowledge. So with this situation here, when I first bid this job, I screwed up. I was thinking that it was going to um, have an operator. And typically here in Michigan, when you have gate operators on a gate, what happens if you don't get the gate, the guy wanted to keep the gate close to the ground, is that the rollers, these ones are cast, they'll freeze. See how we're already getting snow by them? So they'll freeze. Now what happens is if you have nylon rollers, so these are cast rollers. Let's go back over, I'll show you the nylon rollers. So those rollers, they'll freeze because nobody shovels them out. Then what happens is when that gate goes across over time with an operator, it'll put flat spots in the nylon. And then what happens is the gate's going bum, 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 bum. It's, it's just like a tire, you know, like a tire in your car. If you were to slam the brakes, you put a flat spot in the tire, now it wobbles, right? So with these nylon ones, let's take a look. You can see it's just a nylon roller. Really nice. Never have to grease them. They work really good. Um, so I'm gonna put those on there slow because they're hand operating this. I, I just somehow I overlooked that. And if you're hand operating, you need to be smooth because the customer is feeling it all the time, right? So, anyways, I'm gonna show you though what the vendor did to me on this one though. Um, I don't know what's going on with them, but let's just let's just go through it together. Let me flip the camera around. So first of all, my vendor sends me these these rollers, right? No big deal. Got a little grease circ. You, you grease them, right? So you think all four would be the same? Whoa. -oh. What's this? What is this? This one has no grease cert. So this is probably a little bit nicer roller. It's actually built in with a bearing. There's no grease cert on it. Kind of a nice, I like it. But the problem is, no, it don't look the same. You know, it looks like I maybe took a couple used ones off a job. And I gave them one new one. It, it just doesn't feel right. And I, I knew it wasn't gonna work out good. So, and then to top it off, this one for some reason, Look at that. Oh, no, oh, snowing. I don't know if you can see that roller, but that one's got a weird, it's really hard probably to see on the camera. I'm getting snow everywhere. But it's got a real, look at the top. Look at right here. Watch that. It's got a weird, of course now the gate changed positions, but it's just got a really weird, I don't know if you can see that in the camera or not, friends, but it's got a real, real, real weird wobble to it. They just, they don't work good. So we're gonna change it out with the nylons. And I just wanted to show you this little problem I ran into. Some of the things you gotta consider when you're dealing with the gate operators and customers is nylon versus cast. The reason I do use cast is because, like I said, you know, they don't get flat spots in them. But we're gonna switch it over to nylons, get them all good to go. And uh, I'm gonna take the little hit on the chin for this one, but that's okay. I gotta do it for the customer, right? So, gotta make it right. So anyways, take care. Over and out.